I'm going to go through this again, guys. We are trying to calculate the cost price of equipment that we have purchased. So basically, guys, I'm just redoing the short version of your tangible asset note. If you remember very well, your first short version of your tangible asset note, your full version of your tangible asset note will have cost, accumulated depreciation on top, and then it'll have carrying value at top, and then you do your movements. Remember that. So it's like a summary of that, okay? But we, I'm, I don't have the cost price. I don't have accumulated depreciation of all equipment at the beginning of the year they just gave me the carrying value at the beginning of the year so i'm trying to determine the cost price of the equipment that i purchased right now please note if in the balance sheet or the statement of financial position you're only given carrying values everything that comes into this calculation must be at carrying value all right um except for depreciation obviously you all know that depreciation reduces the carrying value of the asset at the beginning of the year we good all right um another thing that can reduce the carrying value um of the asset guys is your is the disposal of that asset at carrying value it must be at carrying value at times it will be at, at cost if we are given um balances at cost price in the balance sheet in this case guys balances are at carrying value so everything that comes here must be at carrying value um ironically guys when you calculate the cost price the cost price will come out at carrying value but because it is the cost price of the asset that we just bought it will be the same as the carrying value. The cost price of that asset bought will be the same as the carrying value of that asset bought because we haven't depreciated it. It is brand new, all right? Um, obviously, even if it's depreciated, it will not have accumulated depreciation. So we're simply calculating the cost price of the asset purchased. So I said we start with the carrying value at the beginning of the year. Carrying value at the beginning of the year, guys, will see be 950,000. We didn't have additions, we didn't have disposals at carrying value. Um, we had sorry for that. We had current year depreciation, we also had um balance at the end of the year. I did show you how we calculated that 83,000 rand, and I showed you guys how we calculated um additions at cost. What do we do with that 530,500? Guys, you take that straight to your um, cash flow statement so basically um, okay basically you will have that 530,500 as purchase of non-current asset that is only for the purchase of equipment but that is not the only non-current asset we purchased we also purchased um, land and buildings and obviously for you guys to determine how much you purchase you take this year's balance minus last year's balance which is 6,100,000 minus 4,220,000 rand and it'll give you 1,880,000 rand okay and guys that's what we have we have purchased land and building for 1,880,000 rand i did explain that from the explanatory notes um when i explained this question guys meaning that tangible assets purchased in total will be 2,410,000 but proceeds from the tangible asset from the sale of tangible assets will be zero because guys we didn't sell any tangible asset the equipment that we disposed of um we actually didn't sell it we just put it away it was a scrap okay it was obsolete we couldn't use it we couldn't sell it to anybody so basically guys our cash flows from investing activities will just be two million four hundred and ten thousand um that's it from me if you understood this um the first time you played it please let me know um just um direct message me dm me or slide into my dm and just send me a thumb or shop um just to tell me that you got it um and then if you haven't got it please play it at least three times and please remember guys if you still don't understand um you can always arrange for a zoom um lesson okay um i'm not going to give you work guys the fact that i'm not giving you work i'm not saying that you shouldn't do any accounting for the whole day today 
please play these videos, write, um, write notes down because that is very important. That is why I'm not giving you anything, especially with respect to what we did today, guys. This is how, as far as, um, this is how difficult it can be, okay? It'll never be more than this difficult, um, especially the investing part of your cash flow statement. It'll never be more than this difficult, okay? This is like the last number, okay? So make sure you understand this example. I had to start with the most difficult one um, because, yeah, so that you can find the next examples a bit easier. I will send more examples um, tomorrow. Even if we don't have accounting, I will still send them, guys. Um, I've already had done so many videos. I will send them. DM, please remember to send me that sharp message into my um, directly to me, guys, not on the group, to let me know if you got it, okay? Um, okay, ciao for now. I guess I can say good afternoon and good evening. As a matter of fact, I'm just saying have a great day.